Two new art exhibits, which feature a lot of local talent, have arrived to Panama City, but there's still plenty of time to check both of them out. News 13's Ethan Lowe joining us live to tell us more about these galleries and how you can check them out for yourself. Hey there, Ethan. Hey there, guys, and one more reminder for you. If you missed this in our 5 o'clock hour, we were at the Art Gallery 850 in downtown Panama City. That's where the Mind's Eye exhibit, of which features a bunch of Gulf Coast State College students. They have an exhibit that will be available until April 23rd, so you can go down there for free and check that out. But right now, we're here at Gulf Coast State College, their main campus in Panama City, talking about a different art exhibit, their student-run art exhibit that comes here annually, and there's a lot to enjoy and experience this time around. So I'm going to be once again joined by a student artist, a student here at the college, Maya Walls, waking up early with us. So Maya, to kick things off, I think it's once again important to quickly mention when people can come in and check out your work as well as your classmates' work. Our opening reception is tonight from 5 to 7 p.m., but you can come visit the gallery during the week from 10 to 6 Monday through Thursday and 10 to 4 on Fridays. And it'll be open until May 1st, so plenty of time, no excuses really not to come down here and check out all the work from the incredible students and very talented students, I may add, here at Gulf Coast State College. And speaking of talent, I want to talk about your piece of artwork right here. This is incredible. Can you kind of talk about your process behind it and your inspiration? Uh, so. I'm in painting two right now, so this is my self-portrait and the style of John Singer Sargent, who I did a master copy earlier. I think I spent around 30 hours on it, just blocking out and getting certain textures right in the fabric and the face. Um, I really liked exploring the way I looked, because usually I design my own characters in a more, a less realistic style, so I think it was very fun to explore more realism. And this is just absolutely incredible. I'm very impressed by the work. It's very realistic. Now, Maya, I do want to mention, too, maybe going back to the reception, which is tonight, as you mentioned, can you kind of talk about what you hope people really learn or take away from kind of what you'll be presenting or talking about during the reception? Uh, I think it's really good to allow younger artists to gain exposure just for resumes later on, but I think it's also important to show that there's an active artist community in Bay County thriving with the gallery here and the gallery downtown. So I think it's just important to show that off and get people interested. Very well said. Now, what are you looking forward to most about really the next few weeks where the gallery will be up? I think it's really interesting to see all the different kinds of classes we offer, some that I haven't taken yet. Like there's a lot of drawing and more like realism classes, and I think that's going to be really fun to explore next semester. Yeah, so a lot of incredible artwork from the students of Gulf Coast State College on display all across Panama City. You can check it out starting tonight here at the college, and then of course you have the gallery in downtown Panama City that's open right now. It'll be open until April 23rd, so make sure you check out both incredible exhibits and check out some of the incredible local talent that we have here in Bay County. Guys, 